Good morning. Welcome to DDO Wiki Talk with your host Technical13, aka Shoemaker. Taking down the splash screen in just a moment. Working on getting our um, our giveaway screen going. This is a source. That up in there. There we go. We're going to clear clear the prize for the day we're going to give away a starter pack i'm going to try to give away the starter pack again we've been trying for weeks now but we need 25 people to pop in i posted on twitter this morning and posted on some irc channels and whatnot so i'm also on orion today for the background music save as this is episode number 70 apparently I've got coffee brewing off to the side over there. There we go. And we can shrink that down until somebody says hi in chat. Let's see here, what can we bring up? Let me get rid of that for a minute. Oh, goody. That guy is still on there. Cool. The devs know about it. They're working on, on the situation. They've banned and blocked all of his accounts and his IPs and whatnot and contacted his ISP to take down his account. And no luck so far. So... All right, we've got that up. So let's get DDO Wiki up and let's take down the splash screen here. There we go. If I put that right under the splash screen, I can scroll down to there and know exactly where the splash screen is. There we go. Good morning. Welcome. Oh. oh looks like that icon is in the wrong place. Let's swap them. There we go. How is everybody this morning? Let's refresh our recent changes. Let's see what's happened in the last week. Actually, in the last two weeks. Because we weren't here last week due to the 4th of July. A 
feel free to um, pop into Discord and say good morning. So it's um to pop into voice chat. It's and click on the live stream voice channel, and you should be able to pop in there and say hi. Let's take a look at our recent changes while we wait for some more people to show up this morning. Looks like we got a couple so far. Let's see here. In the last 14 days, what's happened on DDO Wiki? Template, spell description. Hellball. This is what we worked on last week, okay. Stuff going on, some talk pages, some template work going on. What else have we got going on here? Thunderstrike, legendary. So some new items added for update 36. new update 36 stuff template talk quest has gotten a few a little bit of discussion going on template talk monsters and quests has had a little bit of discussion I like looking at the talk pages we got so much broken lately Let's take a look at that. Let's see here. What else do we have going on? Um, that was in response to something. The double redirect fixer. Let's see here. There's the move log. Upload, block, deletion, user creation, that's weird, I don't see the move log, and I know things have moved, oh here it is, so the work on double redirect fixer was in response to, although you fix a double redirect, you in, lost the intended article subsection, and subsections are going to take a lot of work in order to make them work with the redirect fixer. So that's in my sandbox to work on. I don't think it's something we're going to work on today. But I'll open it up in a tab off to the side. We might get to it. That's not the primary project for what I want to work on today. Well, let's see here. Item talk, cloak of flames. What's that all about? Image names. Oh, okay. Complaining about some page name moves. We can we can talk about that. Mnemonic enhancer. Remove this. It's an interesting discussion. 
some template changes. I, I made a little bit of prog progress on template named item today, or this in this last week. Uh, template talk spell focus. I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. That's what we're going to work on today. So we got some test cases here for for named item. We can look at that. Template main article got modified slightly in order to be able to allow it to say main article or main category or whatever. Template talk quest. Um, yeah, we already have that one open. What else has we got going on here? July 9th. We're almost up to today. That's bothering me. I need to adjust it here. Make sure that you say hi in chat if you're watching. So I know that you're there and I can add you to the list of contestants for the starter pack giveaway. And that gets us up to today, pretty much. Update 36 named items. We can take a look at that real quick. Okay. Um, what was the one that I was setting off to the side? Focus. focus. Ah, redirect fixer. So let's set that over here. Let's take a look at this here. Template talk quest. This could use a flagging item. Added in January. I think it already had one. Needs to have parameters updated due to change. We discussed that, I believe, a couple weeks ago. I'm not muted, right? Okay, good. Just making sure I'm not muted. Let's see here. So I linked to the discussion here. About how to update quest pages. Bonus XP notes. This really should go on its prefer own preferably indented line, rather just tacked onto the end of XP bonus. Done. In this revision. Looks good, thanks. So see, if there's something that doesn't look right, a simple little comment on the talk page saying, can we do something about this? Can we make it look like this? And it will be quickly done. Just added a quick line break with notes, what it is. Um, instead of tacking it onto the end there directly. Really quick, easy fix. Optional XP. Can we get this set off from objective more distinctly? Looks shabby. So I, I sat on discussing that for quite a while, um, over a week now. Um, and I actually didn't come back to it until we got to quest failure. There are some quests in the, in, the, in, in the game, such as the one in the harbor where you can't break sarcophagi and Faithfully Departed, um, where there's, if you do this, you'll, you will fail the quest, and Lord Silverhand asked for a parameter for that. We need a quest failure parameter. Um, the Faithful Departed was was updated, but there's no failure perimeter. So they added what they wanted for a perimeter name, failure, works for me. Um, and hope somebody who can actually do these things will make it. If you use something other than failure, please make sure to change that. Failure sounded reasonable to me. Um, but I wanted to get some clarification. Vacation, so you mean something like an objective option like failure break no more than 10 sarcophagi Exactly probably done as a regular objective, but we're gonna have the rest of them Formatted specially why not you know absolutely done And then it was brought back up. Can you do something about the above listed optional so I got back to that and I said I read this a few times now, but I'm still not sure I understand what you want. I'm planning on getting rid of the heroic epic heading for all XP together, since the percent bonuses should be the same for heroic and and epic or legendary. It's 10% of whatever the you know 
or 15% or 25% of whatever the base XP is for the quest. Um, on whatever difficulty. So I asked for clarification on that. They think the plus per X percent bonus should be different, italicized or grade or something to look the same as optional or whatever. And then what really clicked for me was I know that we had a similar discussion back when the old style about making the bonus distinct from the actual text, and I forget what we settled on looks-wise. So I did some digging because I remembered that discussion as well. It's in a collapsed section on my talk page from the fall of 2015, optional XP bonus template. And yes, I'll be formatting it for whatever the consensus was there when I get to the formatting stage of the revamp. Um, currently just trying to get all the functionality worked, worked out. For example, like the quest failure part, um, that's a new function thing, a new parameter that does something different. Um, going through and changing the formatting, the bold, italic, colors, all that kind of thing. Um, I'm, if it's something that's already there, I'm just porting it over. If it's not something that's already there, then I'm creating it with whatever I think it should look like on the fly to make it to get the feature in there quickly. Um, so we're still adding features. So I'm getting the functionality worked out first. Um, I will get around to doing a formatting revamp where I'll do that kind of thing. The reminder was good though, because I might've forgotten otherwise. Um, so template talk, monsters in quest. We had some discussion here. Um, this was something that I created in order to accommodate the new quest automatically pulling list of monsters from the monster pages themselves. Um, where crew 121 asked to make the monster table collapse by default, split type and race columns so that column sorting can work. Eliminate the text type and race from data rows and get rid of width 90% and just a line left. And they gave me a little mock-up of what they wanted it to look like. And I said, I don't mind adding some classes to the table to make it collapse by default with an option to override that. I don't mind splitting those columns or replacing them with a single MM type column. I want to remove the race type quest text myself. Um, remove, I'm opposed to removing the set width and alignment as I want all of the tables to be consistent from page to page, but I would be willing to make it a flat out 100% width. So there's no alignment stuff going on. It's not 90%, whatever. Um, I'd also like to figure out how to add a column to the table for the H note for the current quests. Um, Crew 121 was happy with three out of four of their requests. Um, I guess they wanted it justified left, but justified left doesn't really look nice. And there is no left and right when you make it 100%. It's just a, a full in the middle. Refilling my coffee cup while I talk, or filling it the first time. Let's see here. Some milk in my coffee. So we got those things done, and a little bit later down the road, somebody complained about it being collapsed. It was brought up about, well, five weeks, a month and eight days after we did the changes to, um, can we get the expand link at the beginning instead of the end? It's apparently been a month and I've just now noticed it's there. And I have been assuming that stuff just hasn't been finished yet. If it looked like it did on the, this page with just monsters and then expand, it'd be cool. But with having the top line of the table name CR showing, it's be a lot more obvious at the beginning. It's something that's part of the core CSS for MediaWiki itself was the response. Um, it, would take a lot, it would take a lot of work to move it. 
Um, I've actually looked into physically moving it before. Um, although it is possible to have it not collapse by default or change other parts of it. Um, wow, that's annoying. I'm guessing it's also not possible to make it so it collapses the whole thing, including the upper row. Um, my honest opinion, I don't think it's really all that necessary to have it collapse by default otherwise. Um, crew personally found the monster list useless, but if most users find it interesting, I guess we should get rid of the collapsible part. Um, they found some stuff about some CSS formatting to move it, move the header, um, except that, let me see if I can remember what the situation with that was. I remember that when I tried that, customizing collapse expand location, um, you could float it left, but that will break on s in some cases because it's floating. Um, so if there's other things on the page, um, such as images, which our monster tables have images in them, um, it can cause issues with floating. Floating is generally a poor thing to do. Good morning, DDO Central. You are the first person to say something in chat this morning. Let's add you to the giveaway. You are number one. DDO Central's number one. Woo! Um, so yeah, floating is generally a bad idea. You can also move it below, which would work if that's what you want, except that I don't think it would look good for the general most people. Most people. Um, so I, I basically said, I guess it's something I'd like to get more feedback. I personally like to have it expanded, just as easy to have it collapse by default and expand for certain users as it is to have it expanded by default and collapse for certain users. Can someone ask for feedback on the forums, which I don't think ever happened? Um, I'm going to have to probably do that myself. Um, on whether people like it collapsed or not by default and indicate that whatever it is, logged in users can have it the other way if they choose with a little custom code. I'm thinking that I'm making, I'll make the custom code a gadget people can opt in or out of. Thoughts, feedback? Um, Lord Silverhand said that they'd prefer to have it expanded by default. Um, I personally like it expanded by default. Crew 121 likes it collapsed by default. Um, has anyone asked for feedback on this topic on the forums yet? So, okay, so I don't think anybody has, or that was June 30th, so that was a week and a half ago. Let's, um actually open up a new tab here and let's pull up the forums oh actually I don't think I can put that there Okay, so what I'm going to do is I can't put it in Fansite News on this account. I don't believe. Let me find out. I, I know I can do it. I'm, yeah, I can't start a thread on fan, Fansite noise, News here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to General Discussion. If I can find General Discussion. I am not... I am not particularly well... I'm not particularly good at navigating the forum. So we'll go to General DDO Discussion. And what I'm going to do is I am going to pick a quest. Um, and actually, I'm going to grab this. I'm 
going to put this in here. Yes. I tend to um, do all of my forum stuff. Um, as raw URL, um, uh, as raw BB code. I don't know. It's just something I do. All right. So we got we got the link for that table style. We're having a discussion on the DDO wiki. about the table style of the bold underline monsters underline bold section of quest pages. And we'd like your feedback, comments, and opinions. Feel free to comment in this thread in the on the wiki talk page with the discussion itself on the URL https discord.me slash ddo wiki ddo wiki discord server or in chat during an episode of DDO wiki talk live on Let's make that a URL. URL equals HTTPS. Twitch.tv slash DDO stream. DDO wiki talk. Slash URL. Live. Almost every... Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern. So. Look forward to your comments. Okay, so let's preview post. Actually, we're going to dent that. Let's actually make it look fancy. Let's copy this icon.
And let's link to me. Um... Good morning, Rickenthar. Notifications, too. I have actually not ever looked at... I don't check this account very often, so... Newbies Dashboard. Ah. Yes, I am... That's awesome. All right, so let's see here. Let's see if we can find... Let's add Rick and Thar here before I forget. He's number two. Two of 25. See if I can find Shoemaker here, because I want to get a link to his page. Uh, ba -da -da -da. Good morning, Arlos. Let's add you to the giveaway. Number three in our giveaway. Let's see here. Actually, might have to go back a page. Oh, there we go. Found it. And click on that. New profile. that out head back over here pop that in there preview post <clears throat> there we go I'm gonna add a couple underscores there just to extend the underlines a little bit There we go. Let's submit this thread. There we go. Aw, it's all question marks. It shows up as four question marks because it doesn't know how to render the, the Unicode. Or it's blocked somehow. So we'll see if we get some more discussion out of this. Um, What I am going to do is, well, I'm going to cut this out, and I'm going to go down here, let's 
asked in forums p equals label this thread There we go. Show preview. Asked in this thread. Excellent. There, we'll get some more feedback on that. Whatever people want is what people will get about whether or not it's collapsed by default. So, another discussion that was brought up to the village pump is that things seem to be broken. And they're not really broken, they're just being improved and changed. Um, so Nimine from Wayfinder brought up that category clicky item slash invisibility does not appear to work at all. Um, the monster list was replaced with a non-functional template. I guess non-functional is a matter of opinion. Um, several base items have names that do not follow the name in game and multiple ways in which the same word is used. Longsword, longsword, great axe, great axe, etc. with links to non-existing pages. There's more, but I believe my point is made. I tried to address some of these, but history has shown that my attempts to do anything outside of the most vanilla of edits have not been well received. Um, clicky items invisibility doesn't exist because it doesn't follow the naming convention. Try the appropriate invisibility clicky items instead. What monster list? All the monster lists look very nice to me as collapse per request table instead of a gaudy, broken, inconsistent, inaccurate bullet list. Yes, there are still many pages and monsters for someone to go through, and I've been trying to do at least 5 to 10 a week until they are done. Um, I've been slacking a little bit the last week or two due to holidays and whatnot. There's actually a policy on which words we should use. TLDR of it is that whatever Turbine SSG DDO used or uses is what we should use. Feel free to pop into Discord and let us know if you find something not following this guideline, um, which is intended to resolve just the issue you were talking about. I'm not sure what you mean by this last se section. I had thought you were a good editor and I appreciated your edits. If there's a disagreement about something, the best thing to do is have a simple discussion about it and figure out what is best for the wiki. Discord chat is the best... Probably the best venue for small things and an on-wiki forum talk page for larger topics. If it can't be resolved on Discord is the best bet. Check out the code for freezing ice. What you can see, it's got this at one end and this at the other, and you can see that it shows as gray. That means that it's a comment. So none of the crafting systems that code that the code seems to suggest should be mentioned as sources are listed on the page. Um, and I point out, see the the commenting thing, that means the code has absolutely nothing, it gets parsed out and isn't used by the so software core. Um, whoever added the code probably did that because they knew something was amiss or there was stuff missing. I'm not sure what you think should be different about the coder's personal notes, um, but it has no effect on the page or the template. This is what's wrong. None of the crafting systems that the code seems to suggest should be mentioned as sources that are listed on the page, um, but the code is just... They're not listed on the page because it's not in the code. It's just a note. It's a, it's a comment. And there's a list of items for each different level of freezing that I do not see any explicit message of in the source page. Um, I should probably comment some more on that topic. Good morning, Laura of Orion. Let's add you to the giveaway. You have to say hi in chat in order to be entered as an as a attendee, as a contestant. So lore A of Orion. Save, there we go. We're up to four of twenty-five. Hi in chat, absolutely. That is high in chat. It works. Big Lou twenty-three. Welcome. I just have to see your name pop up in chat there, and I can add you to the list. So now we're 20% of the way there, with an hour and 20 minutes to go. Plenty of time.
Actually, I'm going to add a little comment to this. Okay. Well, let's see here. Why is that showing up as a red link? Oh, that's why. I forgot to put in the template talk. Alrighty, so we get Cloak of Flames, image names are all now correct. This is a kind of nitpicky BS that makes me want to stop trying to contribute at all. All of the images on this page and a large number of other Canis Challenge item images were uploaded by me, and I used the exact same naming schema for all of them, which detailed the name, level, and tier. There was no need to change the name. Nothing was added at all. They were fine. Um, Crew121 said they mostly agree, but, you know, Wikipedia, yada, yada, you have to be ready that other editors take your work and turn it around, dissect it, delete it, anything, try to find satisfaction that you contributed the content and it still serves you and other folks. Other editors can find satisfaction in having everything 100% consistent. I mean, it's not that consistency is bad, it's great. Anyways, please keep on supplying the unique knowledge and don't feel bad if minions do the formatting. Um, Alright crew, I'm just being salty. Or a jackass, your pick on which. It appears the naming policy and image help pages need to be updated for this use case. The normal naming convention is to follow the case-specific name of the thing it's being named after, and anything extra is spelled out in full words wrapped in parentheses and all or case. Level 1, Tier 1, Historic, Enhancement, etc. I'm aware there are many other pages and things on this wiki that aren't currently following this common practice, and I'll get around to updating all of them too. Um, I wasn't just picking on... Nimine's edits there. Um, it was a large section that I could hit and clean up and get to follow the um, status quo of, you know, name of item and then lowercase disambiguators. So that's what I did. Uh, mnemonic enhancer. Remove this. I think this section can be removed. But I'll just ask for feedback before doing so. And looks like Lord Silverhand and had, and crew have both commented on it. I haven't. Um, I really don't care if it's removed or not, as long as it's as long as it exists somewhere else and it's replaced with a link to where it exists elsewhere. All right, spell focus. That's. My project for today that I want to work on, hopefully I can do it in the remaining hour of the show. Template named item is something that I've been working on. I took another big chunk at it this last week. Um, I updated the some of the parameters in here in the usage section and made them look proper in here. Um, it looks broken because it's based on CSS that... Um, 
isn't available to everybody, you'd have to import it. Um, there's a test set of test pages. I've been working on ammo at the moment. Um, in order to make this look correct, I'll see if I can remember how to use this, how to do this. I can't do it here. I need to go here. Appearance, vector, custom CSS. Um, user. Technical 13 vector CSS. Absolutely. Let me add you to the giveaway. O R B B I T A L underscore L I. You are attendee number six. We need to get 19 more people in here. And we will be giving away a starter pack. So let's see here. What we need is named item template project. And we're going to copy all of this. And paste it in here. Save that. All right, so now we got the we got the code for it. Get rid of that. We can refresh this, and you will see the table show up properly. So I've been working on. I don't know why that's centered. I'll have to work on that. That should be adjusted properly. So one of the complaints was that this takes up too much room when the information is all here. So it's going to be in a collapse section. Um, I'm going to bottom align that. It's just going to be the picture of whatever the item looks like or the orb picture. The no pick is going to be centered in the middle. So if there's no picture um, defined, it will show that as a background. And that's actually the background. You expand, you'll see it disappears. It gets hidden behind the no picture. Um, all of the parameters will be available as such. The icon will be automatically selected. Um, either a default icon or whatever the icon is for the item. There are actually some items that we have specific icons for. It looks like my weight's being shown twice for the LBS. And that's probably because LBS was listed in here when it should be just, just the numbers, man. Just the numbers. There we go. So it's going to be a, a, a work in progress to get this to all use the same table idea. Um, I don't have an armor in here yet, but I'm going to pick one out and throw it in here at some point. Um, Waitlist is now working properly. That's good. Um, I had a lot of work to do on this. The goal is that once it's done, clicking on the edit link up here will actually change none into a, an input box. Um, it'll have a, a, for required proficiency, it'll have a drop down list of the available proficiencies. Um, Equips 2 will have a drop down list of the available slots or types. Uh, minimum level will have a, um, will have both a number box that will allow inputs from 2 to 30. Um, it will also have a checkbox for no minimum level. Good morning, Artie Dragon. Let's add you to the giveaway list this morning. Um, if you're in chat this morning and you're in game and you have some guildies you can convince to come in here and say hi, it will increase the odds of us getting to 25 people that we need to do the giveaway. We need to have at least 25 people in order for me to click the roll for winner button. So get your friends, get your guildies in here.
They just have to pop in and say hi, and they will be entered in for a chance. And increment the counter. Um, hello, friends. Good morning, Redcap39. We're up to eight. Good. Moving right up there. Um, so yeah, it's going to be... This will be a drop down. This will be a drop down. This will be a number input. 2 to 30 with a checkbox that says no minimum level. Bind will have a drop down list for the different bind options. Um, base value. I'm actually going to get rid of the CP here and actually put the icon. When you mouse over the icon, it will say copper piece. Um, and it will be platinum, gold, silver, copper. And they will all have their own number input boxes. Um, which will be limited to the limits of currency. So it'll be... Um, 0 to 9 copper, 0 to 9 silver, 0 to 9 gold, and 0 to um, any number for platinum. Uh, made of wood. Native will be a drop down. Material will be a drop down. Hardness will be a number selector. Um, you'll be able to pick anything from 0 up. Weight will be um, probably a text box because it's decimal. Um, enhancements I'm going to modify. It's actually going to be um, redone in the template as Enhancement 1, Enhancement 2, Enhancement 3, and each one will get its own drop-down or input box. Um, it'll probably be an input box um, at first where you can type in the code for the enhancement and it will be later adjusted to be um, a series of drop-down boxes or whatnot. Description will be a text box. Notes will be a text box. Location will be a drop down um, of quests um, that you'll be able to pick which quest that will be automatically populated by everything that's in category quests that will be populated by the quest template itself. Um, you'll be able to click on the picture and up update the picture. Um, it will be. It will offer restrictions on what the possible image names can be for that. So, um, I basically want to make a form out of the table to make it easier to edit. Um, when you click edit, we'll also add a button to the corner over here that will say edit raw, which will still allow you to edit the the code itself, um, the template code itself for the item. Um, although I may put restrictions on that to auto-confirmed only. Um, but we'll see what happens on that. That's still kind of up in the air. I'm, I'm just working on getting the template itself working first so that I can use the one template for all of the items, get that updated. And while I'm going through processing those, I'll work on making this into a form. And then once that's done, I'll start adding the other features to it. So that's my project for named item. I want this to be a form where you can just select drop downs and number selectors and check boxes or whatnot. Um, update 36 named items. I wanted to take a quick look at this and see which items have been made. It's like there's still a lot of pages missing, although there are some that have been added. Excellent. Glad to see it starting to fill in. I, I actually did some work last week on the template for up top here um, for the category pages. You'll see this is in items by update. actually created a new category, but I don't remember where it went, so I'm not going to worry about it. So, template spell focus. So we're using decibel numbers now for focus instead of Roman numerals. This template needs to be updated to allow plus or minus number number while staying backwards compatible with the old Roman numerals items. If there are any left that aren't, weren't ported to the new decimal system, I don't know if, if it was 
if there's anything legacy that's still there using Roman numerals. Um, I'll probably do this Tuesday, just leaving a note reminder about it here. Crew 121 was also eyeing this for a revamp. Please add Spell Focus Mastery. Also, there was an inconsistency with Breath Weapon Focus capital letters. Um, it'll be my target project to start on the show today. Um, so, let's take a look at the template here. Spell Focus, Level, School. Where Level is an integer or a Roman numeral. All right, it's time to take our normal 9 a.m. intermission for three to five minutes for bathroom break and coffee refill. Um, we'll be back shortly. Just going to open up the code real quick. Let people look at the code while we do that. And yes, I see you, little crow. Come on, edit. Let's add you to the giveaway list before I pop up for the break. 901, save. Alrighty, so that is the code for this template currently. And we will work on that. I will be back shortly.
Alright, so we had an in-game ding. What was that all about? Oh, there you go. Thanks for the heads up. Alright, let's shrink that. Let's get back into the coding here. Let's see here. Uh, breath focus, weapon ISO focus. Style, font size larger. TL, spell focus. Level school, bonus type. Prefix equals prefix slash B. Require parameters where school is. Our level is an integer. Samples. Categorization. I'm going to do a pages and categories for each one. that All right, now the code itself. Let's add some spacing here so it's easier to read. accept the new numbers and or be backwards compatible. case I'm going to get rid of decimal to roman S case Get rid of decimal to Roman. Int Roman to des. So if it's that one, we need to keep. S case. This can be S case as well.
Hey, Odin, thanks for the follow. Make sure that you pop in a chat and say hi. Do a show changes. So I got that up there. I got all of those, which are nothing to the category itself. Template. Added some spaces. So I got rid of that and that. Make sure I get rid of matching brackets. Dust to Roman. Ooh, that one should probably stay. Yep, that needs to go back in the default section. I want to get rid of that. That's what makes it calculatable if it's a Roman number. Right? Oh no, that's death to Roman. Alright, so that one can go. That one can go. Make sure I get this all right. So dec decimal to Roman can go away because it doesn't we don't want to force it to be a Roman numeral. Spell focus, you see first. Get rid of the matching braces, matching braces, dust to Roman, matching braces, matching braces, matching braces, matching braces. S case, S case, S case, S case. Alright, so that should work. Do a show preview. We won't see any changes other than these will all show up now. I don't know if breath weapon focus should be capital F or lowercase f. Should be green numbers, not red. I haven't added spell focus mastery yet, but that'll just be another index in the um, level two, parameter two. Category. So it should be a capital F. It should always be a capital F. Okay. Let's save that and see what it looks like. Why is that one showing up as a Roman numeral? Good morning. Let's add you to the giveaway this morning. H-A-K-O-I-S-T-2. Hey, we made it to 40%. 45 minutes to go. Let your friends and guildies know. Need more people. So it's got a 2 there, but it's still showing up as that. Okay, so... Let's do a page edit and see if we can figure that one out. There you go. So it's in here. Death to Roman. We need to get rid of that. We don't want to force it to be a Roman numeral.
Okay, let's see if that fixes it. Roman numerals are still an option though. I want to make sure that they still work if there's a Roman numeral in there. Excellent. Well, that, I think, basically takes care of what I wanted to get. Um, although we're not getting Spell Mastery yet. Do 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 do. Good morning. Welcome, Sarah. You are number eleven. Fourteen to go. Oh, yeah, fourteen to go. Looks like we have sixteen people in chat now, and only. 11 of them have said hi. Come on, Larkers, say hi. Oh, we have just went up to 17. So if you're a Lurker, you haven't said anything in chat, say something in chat. Alright, so, double redirect fixer. In the process of figuring out how to... get the... section from a redirect. Are there any double redirects right now? No, not right now. Okay. So the function is fix double redirects index, double redirect, redirect target. Bar right redirect is redirect, redirect target plus whatever. New post with token, edit that posts it fiction fixed if result is success. Uh, replace fix this with fixed. Replace the href with reload. Reload the page on click, reload and half a second good morning welcome welcome let's add you guys to the list here tiny avian 
And okay, K Wang. More than fifty percent of the way there. Good morning, MRF. Good morning, Puff Granny. I know MRF is going to say hi in chat in just a minute. Up to 14 attendees. It's 9.18 a.m. here. This is the morning show. We got WACH78. 15 out of 25. I'm surprised Bach hasn't said anything this morning. Who else is lurking in channel? Let's call out the lurkers. Ha 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 ha. CSI's here, but probably not. Anna Chris hasn't said anything. Entomix is l always lurking, but hasn't said anything this morning. Beiji Went hasn't said anything. Hunzi's here, but hasn't said anything. Cobalt Scribe is a bot. Lotro Stream is here, but hasn't said anything. Mubot's here? I did not know that Moobot was here. Oh, I'm in the wrong channel, aren't I? Nope, Mistwalker's here. There we go. Rick and Thar has said something. Shoe Heels is here, but hasn't said anything. It's my alt account. Hmm. Welcome, everybody. Make sure to say something in chat. Let me know that you are, in fact, here. Okay, so that reload the page. That adds an href for that with an on click. Row index replace something failed. Try it again. Okay, so if it's if fixed is not equal to success, then replace this with something failed. Try again, which just replaces the text. So you can click the button. I should probably add another option to that for something failed. Um, and then make just try again a link, and then pipe show error, and then have it show an, the error. Hmm. Yeah, that's something different I can do later. Right now, I just want to get the other part working. So right now, we need to next link. Yep, limit. That closes that function. Limit. Document location. Slice. Limit plus six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it takes whatever the beginning of this is and, and goes to the end and go until it finds the next ampersand, assuming there is one. Otherwise, it'll just pull the end of the, or otherwise it should just pull the end of the, of whatever the, the length of um, the location is. Edit summary is fixing double redirects using gadget special pages, double redirect fixer. Next link, if. If next link is not null and is numeric limit is not numeric or limit is empty, then limit is okay. So I don't know why that's down there instead of attached to that, but whatever. I might swap those just to make it easier to read. Limit is document this plus six to the end. Else if next link is not null and limit is not equal to a thousand, then reload the page with a limit of a thousand. Okay, so now we go to the actual list. So ordered list special find list item each function index. Double redirect is going to be whatever this is. Find the first A with the 
get and then get the attribute title replacing any apostrophes with so fix the apostrophes Uh, redirect title is going to be whatever the last anchor point title is, replacing those, okay. Redirect target is new MW API. It is quite complex. It is JavaScript. Get, so we're going to do a query on the double redirect page. So whatever page is a double redirect, we're going to do a query on that that pulls revision info looking for the content that will get the uh, wiki text of the page. Function redirect content. This append. So at the end of it, put in redirect target ID row I on click fix double redirects. I double redirect blah, blah, blah. Fix this redirect. Okay, so redirect target. Okay, so that's where I, I, I left off. So what I need to do is I need to take redirect content dot query. Dot page ID. Or Array index page ID. Array index star pulls all the content and parse that looking for the link section and then parse that to get rid of everything from the Octothorpe before to get just the section if it exists. Hmm. So yeah, I'm going to work on that later. Let's see what else we can do on Wiki today. So let's go to recent changes. UL is still working on adding items. Awesome. We're actually going to go back to spell focus for a second and go to the talk page and mention that. Did some stuff to fix this. Template no longer forces Rome, Roman numerals. Lost your video. Offline now. Nope. Oh. Um, let's see here.
All right, so now that we're back, I had it for some reason. I had X split, split configured to connect to only Virginia. Um, I made some modifications so that it would allow me to pick a different server because I was able to connect to New York with um, my personal account. Um, and picking a different server, I picked New York, um, brought it back up. So apparently the Virginia um, Twitch server is offline at the moment. For some reason it crashed and took me out with it. Dang it. It's all right. We switched to New York. Woohoo! Go New York! All right, so where were we? Let's see here. Um, watch. We got OK Wang. We need to add Sin. Add fifty fifty five. We need to add. Who else do we need to add? I saw a couple other new names. We got Todd. There we go. Up to 17 to 25. We only need eight more people now. And back to where we were. Template no longer forces Roman numerals. Casing issues should be resolved by using TLS case. Not sure what to do with Bell Focus Mastery at the moment, but can figure that out later. Thinking this template should move to spell focus. Thoughts. Alrighty. So I got twenty minutes left. Okay, so what do we got here? Stonework beam. Excellent. The necropolis. We had an IP work on that. Need to review that. Let's see here. What was the previous edit?
Who is the shoemaker in the hall? That would be me. Sounds like there's some, been some requests. Decline, decline, decline. Alrighty. I'm not running a quest. Alright, so let's take a look at special pages. Hey, Quasi74. Let's add you to the giveaway list here. K-W-A-Z-Y-74. Save. 18 people out of 25. Seven more to go. Since we're down to the last 20 minutes, what I'm going to do is... we got a broken redirect. Is um, If we get at least 20 people, but we don't make the 25... Um, let me actually sh go to black screen for a second. Let me check something. See if I have any um, 500 DP, DP codes left. I do. I have one left. I have one DDO point code left. There's LFM War. We've got three starter packs, one DDO 500 point code left. I guess some Locho point codes, if somebody wants a Locho point code. I could give that away instead. I believe my last Steely Dawn and Quad Pack for Lotro are both accounted for. So yeah, what I'll do is if we get at least... Oh, that's funny. That's pretty, pretty funny. Yeah, but that guy's been posting that for four months now. So, whatever. I don't blame, blame people for saying they don't care. All right, let's see. Back to here. Broken redirects. What do we got? Veils Avenger. Items Veils Avenger. Ah, that's why. Okay, so... Item Veils Avenger. It's singular. Doesn't make it right, but I don't blame them for saying so. There we go. That'll fix that. Wanted categories. We're up to 50 there. I keep bringing that down to 10 to 15 every week, and it keeps going right back up. I can do this one. I still don't know what to do with the weapon something effect items. I suppose I could group them all under weapon weapons effect items. I can take care of this one and 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 this one. 
and this one, 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 and this one. Oh, I know what's going on here. So these are going to be... Zero, zero, five. Home. Category. Um, distant diversion. Yeah, I guess triple digits is fine. Good morning, Master Blitz. Okay, so there's that one. Dwarven War Axes 28. That's going to be marked as category. Category, save page. Actually, I want to unwatch the other category that we created. Repeating light crossbows by level Hello, 15. Really? Really? Hey, thank you for the follow. Now just say hi in chat. And I will add you to the giveaway. Great Swords 28. There you go. You are number 20. We're now 80% of the way to a starter pack giveaway in 15 minutes. Five more people. We'll give away a starter really? pack. Really? Hey, thank you for the follow, Master Blitz. Let's add repeating light crossbow to the list here. I bet you guys didn't know there was actually somebody that works on the wiki. On a daily basis. Trying to get everything in there. We got insightful armor piercing items. Category. Paste. Category. Don't watch. Save page. Insightful double strike items. Category, paste, category, save. Lightning lore items. Copy. Category, tab, paste, select all. Category, don't watch, save. A lot of it is um, redundancy. We do the same thing on multiple pages over and over and over again. It's extremely boring and tedious. And there's not a lot of reward for it in general. The only rewards for it most of the time are the satisfaction of knowing that you have contributed 
And I try to do occasional giveaways for um, quality and quantity of content. Um, there should be nothing on DDO Wiki itself, um, picture-wise, that it uses an off-site off, off um, resource such as Photobucket. Um, the only places that Photobucket is actually permitted to be used for linking pictures is on talk pages. Um, so if you wanted to... Um, show an example of something from an off-site picture, you could do that. But other than that, anything that's content um, on an item page, on a quest page, on a monster page, um, in main space, anything that's not in a talk space should be uploaded to um, the wiki itself. If there are images that are on an external resource, um, Pop in a Discord, give us links to the pages. There's a really easy way to do links to the pages. Um, if you click on the pinned messages, there will be um, instructions there. It's like percent um, item link and then the item page or whatever, or percent wiki link and then the wiki page. So yeah, there should there should be no off-site images so if you find one let us know and we will resolve the issue one way or another see that a little bit of talking and we've only got two of these categories left to create. I should actually create some information on the policy page about how to populate item effect categories and item by level categories. So to do these, basically just copy the name of the category, take out the number, pipe, space, zero pad, three, zero padded to three digits, number. Copy, click on category, tab, Paste, control A, category, don't watch, save. Done. And you can see that it actually shows there is no quality, quality nullification items. So you click on that one and you go nullification items, copy, category, paste, category, save page. And there's now nullification items. Now if we go reload the page, we had 50 before, we're down to 36. Who dinged me? One hundred percent legit. Need five more people in the next eight minutes. Good morning, MRF. Make that four more people. Okay, let's add MRF to the list. Go to HTTPS, um, 
twitch.tv slash stream and say hi in chat. And decline while we're at it. Good morning, Tent. T-E-N-T-Y-N-7. Save. Three people. In six minutes. Okay, so what do we get here? Quality nullification item 45. We're going to dump that one. That's right, he's adding more as I'm getting rid of them. That's kind of funny. Alright, so let's do quality nullification 45. Cut. Paste. Zero pad. Copy. Category. Tab. Paste. Category. Don't watch. Save page. Going down. Innate attack bear spells? Hmm, I don't think I've heard of that one before. What's breath weapon focus items? I'll have to fix that one. That was one of the things I was just working on. Yeah, I, I don't have a haywire voice. What does haywire sound like? Let's take a look at these two items. Why does that say 100%? Hmm. Try again. Four minutes till self-destruct. <laughs> I don't ever listen to the DM voice. Oh, <gasps> blasphemy. I don't listen to the music most of the time either, to be honest. I find it distracting when I'm trying to listen to people talk or what, whatever. Breath weapon focus plus three. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't look to see why the picture says 100%. So that's going to be part of named item or named jewelry, which I can't edit at the moment, but I can look at it and see what it is. Uh, that's why. Just taking that as alt text instead of as a size, which needs to be. I 
All right, I can fix that later. That's not a big deal. Good morning, Warrior of Ice. Let's add you to the giveaway. We've got two minutes left. And we need two more people in the next two minutes. One minute. I don't mind running a couple weapon, couple minutes over. So we get, we do have breath weapon focus. Okay, so maybe it just needed a null edit to proc the update. Breath weapon focus items. Okay, so that so it was just a null edit that it needed. Okay, excellent. That removes that. Excellent. So I'm gonna grab this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And we're just going to do C, U, Shoemaker Tests. And we're going to mark it as a maintenance category. No, I don't remember what the name of the template is for that. Right there, lowercase. I don't have a parent for it. Okay, so I just wanted to check that. So this is going to be maintenance category, control C, don't watch. If you're lurking in chat, this is the last call to say hi in chat so we can do the giveaway for the starter pack. Need two more people to say hi in, in chat. There we go. So that'll clean all of those out of there.
There we go. Excellent, down to 26. Once named items by update. So we're going to recreate this. And in order to recreate that, I'm going to have to pull up my Shoemaker account. My, well, technically it's my Technical 13 account. Gonna restore that. And we're actually gonna make this a We're going to make it a maintenance category. We're not going to do it there. We're going to do it here. There we go. <clears throat> I started with the update 36 stuff. I'm gonna have to go through each and add as appropriate. This is actually imported. Scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see links to the, the images. Hey! Just in the nick of time. Iceland. Bruce. Wayne. That puts us one person short on doing the starter pack. I see 22 viewers in chat. Hey, there we go. That's what we needed. We now have enough people. Really? 
Hey, thank you for the follow with Love Dream. All right, so. Let's do the drawing. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll for winner. Eighteen, crazy seventy four. If you're curious about curious about what the starter pack includes, let's have a quick look at the starter pack page. Starter pack includes the Catacombs Adventure Pack. A fiendish scorpion pet, bound to character, one per game world. A permanent cleric hireling, um, Ellery Thistledown, a level 3 cleric hireling. Can cure wounds, remove paralysis, and much more. It also has a um, divine vitality to it, so you can give yourself some SP. Um, one per game world. Make sure you keep track of where you put it. Five excellent experience elixirs per game world. And 250 DDO points. Congratulations. Let's, um, save that. And that will wrap up this episode of DDO Wiki Talk. Um, where is this splash screen? Tune in next week. Um, we will have another episode. Um, I'll try to get these all posted to YouTube today. Um, we will be doing another episode next week. And I will probably do a 500 DDO point giveaway for um, 20 plus chatters. So I want 20 people to pop in and say hi and chat next week. And I will do a 500 DDO point giveaway. Um, see you next week. Have a great week, everybody.